Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your fourth and final video blog of the night for Tuesday, December 1st, 2015, around 8.08 .08 in the evening in Bellingham, Massachusetts. It's cloudy out, rain showers, going to be in the mid-40s tonight. Tomorrow, it's going to be on and off rain showers, still stuck in the 40s, but luckily it's not snow, or we'd be talking about heavy-duty snow. First day of meteorological winter, hopefully no snowstorms in the first half of winter. That's what many of the forecasters are saying. We'll be storm, I mean, major storm-free until maybe February, but that could change. One little tidbit, the Boston Red Sox got an ace pitcher. And David Price, the biggest free agent prize in the pitching market this year, seven years, $217 million. The Red Sox lacked a true ace this year, so this is big news for them. Now he has to win in October. The dominoes are starting to fall on free agent pitchers. Probably Zach Granke's going to sign next. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is now on CBS right now, so watch it on your local CBS station. It's on locally in the Boston area on WBZ ch Channel 4, also WCCO Channel 4 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. That's where Molly Rosenblatt is the weekend meteorologist, and WKMG New, New 6 in Orlando. That's where two of the cutest Lawns on television, Julie Broughton and Elizabeth Hart work, and both of them have nice legs. And that's about it on that. My fourth and final video blog of the night is my personality profile, which is back. Tonight's personality profile is about hockey Hall of Fame defenseman Rod Laneway. Lane Rod Laneway was probably the best Washington um, Capitals player of all time until some guy named Alex Ovechkin came onto the scene in 2005. Rod Laneway had a distinguished career in the NHL. He was probably one of the greatest defensive defensemen of his era in the 80s and stuff. Um, Rod was born in Taiwan on a U.S. military base. He's the first and only player in National Hockey League history to be born in Taiwan, but he grew up in Randolph, Massachusetts. That's a suburb south of Boston, and he was a good baseball player and football player and hockey player in high school. Then he went to the University of New Hampshire to play on a hockey team, and he was a linebacker in football. And uh, Montreal Canadiens drafted Rod in the second round of the 1977 NHL draft, 36th overall pick. <laughs> he played one year in the WHA, and then in 1978, Rod came to the C Canadians, and then he spent his first four years with the Montreal Canadiens. He wore a helmet during his time with the Canadians, but eventually he took it off. And he won a Stanley Cup with him in 1979. And he he was basically known as becoming just a def great defensive defenseman. But the Canadians, all of the mostly of all of the defensemen were also offensive machines, and he was kind of a little bit of an old school defenseman. And in 1982, the the Canadians traded Rod Laneway to the Washington Capitals, who at that time was the worst team in the NHL since coming into the league in 1974. They never qualified for the playoffs. They lacked star power. And when Rod Laneway came to the Washington Capitals, he became a mega star for them. And he wasn't known as like a goal scorer. He only had one season when he scored 10 or more goals or seven seasons. He had 20 or more assists. Five seasons had 30 or more points. Six times Rod played in the NHL All-Star game. Two times he was an NHL first All-Star team selection. And one time he was um, a second All-Star team selection. He won back 
to back Norris trophies in 1983 and 1984, and he transformed the Washington Capitals to a, a, a annual playoff contender in the National Hockey League. They never made it to the Stanley Cup final when he was around, but he was he was nicknamed the Secretary of Defense, and he participated in three Canada C Cups. While playing for Team USA, he never played for t Team US USA in the Olympics because that was a time when amateurs only. But if if NHL participated in the Olympics in the, like the eighties, he probably would be probably a cornerstone of the defense for the U.S. Canadian U.S. team. And he was a longtime captain of the Washington Capitals. Um, he was the captain of the Capitals for 11 years. He became one of the last players in the NHL never to wear a helmet. He stopped playing in the NHL in 1993 and his professional career stats including the WHA 54 goals, 296 assists, and 350 points. And after he stopped playing in the NHL, he actually became a player coach in a few minor league teams, Richmond Renegades and San Francisco Spiders in the, uh, in in like the ECHL and International Hockey League, he finally hanged up his skates for good in 1996, and then he went into coaching, being an assistant coach for a few minor league teams. He was actually an assistant coach of the Bust of the Providence Bruins for one year, 1997-1998. His number five got retired by the Washington Capitals in 1997 when they opened up the Verizon Wireless Arena. And in 2002, Rod was voted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, which was an honor deserving for him because he was probably, you know, the first major great player the Washington Capitals had and he's a legend in Washington DC hockey. That's about it on that and I'll be back tomorrow Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Again there'll be four video blogs. First video blog will be about the top 10 sports stars ever to win the number 26. Second video blog will be continuing predictions of 2016 which will be about uh, this one will be about Hall of Fames for the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Pro Basketball Hall of Fame, the Hockey Hall of Fame, Baseball Hall of Fame, WWE Hall of Fame. Third video blog will be about my weekly NFL predictions. And the fourth and final video blog of the night will be about the personality profile, Olaf Kosa. And keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Budden guy. Molly Rosenblatt of, Fox, of, of WCCO. TV4 rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning. Barbara Gibbs of ABC11 is the best. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Shockey, this action will not be tolerated at BMHS. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.